Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Another great episode of Stove Top Yum Yum. Today we are traveling to Louisiana and this episode starts right now. <laughs> Welcome back. Another great episode. As I mentioned, today we are traveling to Louisiana. Today I am making my version of Cajun Creole chicken. Normally it's Cajun Creole shrimp, but I'm going to do a little twist on it today. We're going to have some chicken and our side dish is going to be sliced pan fried polenta. Now I know that sounds odd, but that's like a Italian twist to it and of course we love our rice so with that Cajun sauce it's so delicious so you guys I have the ingredients behind me let's go check them out I'm gonna start with a can of petite diced tomatoes I have two tablespoons of butter a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of onion powder I have half a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning I have a teaspoon of paprika I have a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder. We have five large garlic cloves minced, three of the green onions chopped. I have a medium sized yellow onion and I have my green peppers, a medium green pepper combined with the mix. And I have two celery stalks and a whole entire chicken breast chopped up. And for our side dish we have you can buy this we have polenta which is very easy to slice and pan fry you guys i'll meet you over at the stove and let's get cooking okay guys i'm back when we are at the stove so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our two tablespoons of unsalted sweet cream butter and put it in our pan in our gorgeous pan and i'm going to take two tablespoons of veo juice vegetable oil so you can check with your spoons if you want to, or you can just, this is a very convenient little gadget to have. Very helpful. Now let me lower this real quick. Before I lower it, I want to clarify one thing to you all. It is very um, common in Louisiana, and it's used in a big majority of all their dishes, and they call it the Trinity, which is what we have here today. The Trinity in Louisiana is green bell peppers, Onions and celery. That is the trinity. That is the authentic way to do that. So, we, okay, I'm here. <laughs> All right, so we're heating this up and we are going to take our onions, peppers, believe it or not, our onions, peppers, celery, and our garlic. We're saving the green onions for later. So, we're going to do that. We're going to put our celery, our green peppers, we are putting our trinity in the pan. How oh, beautiful. I love these colored peppers. Peppers. Blah, peppers. Sorry. <laughs> All right, our beautiful onion. And we'll top it off with our five cloves of garlic. That's right. Over on the bayou, they love their garlic. And so do I. All right, so I'm gonna get my spoon and start stirring this. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna cook this until the vegetables are the vegetables are softened. I don't want to brown my vegetables just yet. I'm going to put in my salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. This is my version because my onion powder and garlic powder will enhance my onions and my garlic. Everyone that follows me knows that. All right, so we're going to put in our paprika. And that is what we're going to put in for right this second right now. So I'm going to soften these veggies up for five to seven minutes, you guys. And when I come back, we're going to add our chicken. And you don't want to miss this, you guys. I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back. And our Creole uh, sauce has been simmering for 10 minutes. And now I am going, I want to show you what it's starting to look like. 
Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. I'm gonna move it away from the stove and I'm going to add my chicken. Now, very important, I don't know if you guys remember from previous videos, there's a lot of liquid on this plate because from this chicken breast, this whole chicken breast, I don't ever pour the whole plate in there because I don't want any of that liquid in there. I want just my fresh chicken. Chicken in there. Come on guys, get over here. Oh my God, you guys smell so good. Oh my God. I don't know if any of you have ever been to Louisiana, but oh my God, the food is so good. Okay, let me put this down. Okay, here's our chicken. Yum. Let me move it over here so you can see it better. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god, you can sell you can smell you guys all that Creole seasoning. Yum, 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 yum. I'm gonna show you how I slice it. And we're going to pan fry it. You don't want to miss it. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I want to show you the polenta. What I did was we're going to cut, we're going to slice it. When you, remember, when you slice the end, really thin slices, so it'll open up. You can squeeze it. Let me show you. You can squeeze the plastic off. And there'll be some water in it, so do it over the sink. And you're going to cut them about a quarter of an inch thick. About this thickness. Now, I'm going to keep cutting these, and I'm going to put them on my cutting board, leave them on my cutting board, and we're going to season them with a little bit of oregano, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of garlic powder. Okay, guys, so I have my baby tongs. This is quick, just so you guys know. just want to melt the butter. I love, I don't know about you guys, I love the smell of brown butter. I always say it is so nutty. It smells so nutty. I love it. All right, so let's put these babies in. We'll warm these up, put a little pan fry on them. All right, so let's put them all in there. As soon as I come back, these are gonna be flipped, our little polenta cakes, and you are gonna see how beautiful and golden brown they are, and you don't wanna miss this, you guys, and we'll be ready to taste. I'll be right back. Hey, you guys, I'm back, and it's time to taste. Oh my God, this looks so beautiful, look at this. Look at that. Oh my God, look at that beautiful polenta. The little polentas. Make sure you cut them a quarter of an inch thick or half, even half an inch thick. And it'll taste like grits and it goes so delicious with this Creole sauce. Oh my God, you need to try this. It's so good. Look at that. Wow. I'm never sure. I'm never convinced after our first bite. Take another bite. Let's make sure. <laughs> polenta. Mmm. Ha! Ah. Sorry. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Probably wondering. Chicken breast is so dry, but maybe you're wondering why this one is so juicy. Because of the acid in the tomatoes. Anything with acid will tenderize your meat. See how I didn't use vinegar or lemon or anything. Remember, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to comment. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. And if not, feel free to subscribe, but don't forget the notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And as always, you guys, au revoir. I love you. Los quiero. And until the next great episode of Stovetop Yum Yum, I will be back. And I will see you then. Take great care. Bye-bye.